All right, Innistrad Sealed Decks versus Born of the Gods, Battle of the Horde. We'll be playing with the Vanquisher, giving each player eight, the Explorer letting each player drop two lands a turn, and Harvester letting each both players loot once a turn, or, you know, once per untap. There's eight cards here. We've got all three lands and things to play. It looks like a good hand to keep. Oh, there's another card. Cloistered Youth, not too bad. Both players will be sharing a life total as per the rules of Battle of the Horde. Uh, both lands, things to play. This looks like a good start. Looks like a good start. Okay. So, three turns before the height before the horde gets to go. Um, on turn one, play these two. Or actually, probably these two. And we'll play the cloistered youth. Turn one, probably these two. No additional plays. Okay. Ending turn one, we're going to harvest. Uh, another planes. It's probably good to keep that. Um, Chapel Geist. There's already a Chapel Geist, and they're not. Evasion's not terribly good against this deck, so probably drop the Chapel Geist. And we'll go into turn two. Cathar, Abyssinian Priest. Okay, um, we're not at five yet, so we'll play this land. We'll play this land. The oh, and we'll flip the Cloistered Youth because we might as well just start bringing in the beats on turn two. Um, so, on attack step, the Unholy Fiend will attack in mill three. One, two, three. And then this player will play the Cell Off Occultist to add some mill power, which is very strong against the, the Horde. And then this player will play a Chapel Geist. And then we will go to turn three. We will harvest before the turn. Drawing and discarding. We have Slayer of the Wicked, which is pretty good. And then an island. We'll keep the land to get the five. Avicenian Priest is not as useful against the Horde, so we'll drop that card. Um, and then this one will probably ditch... Uh, I feel like we want to get to the Bloodgift Demon. Gavini is really good. Voiceless Spirit's pretty good. Mausoleum Guard's pretty good. So is Alder Cathar. We don't have a way of getting to the Bloodgift Demon. So, since it's not in sight and all the other cards can be played for use, let's drop the, let's drop the Demon. Um, we, lose, we lost a life total at the end of the turn as well, and then we will go into the new turn. Okay. Players draw a card. We have Manor Skeleton and Dissipate. Um, this player will play Second Island. Player will play Gavity Township. Four lands. And then, I mean, they're going to have three creatures coming down, but we'll play at least one creature. Probably the Voiceless Spirit and the uh, Moon Heron, I guess. 
fiend will block. The voice of spirit will block. So the occultist and the chapel geist will attack. Okay. That's four damage. Moon Heron comes up, and Voice of the Spirit comes up, and then we end the turn, lose another life, and it will be the Horde's first turn. We have an Altar, uh, Minotaur's attack, they get first strike and must be blocked. There's one Minotaur, so that's the first attack, that's three. This one must be blocked, it's a 3-3, and it has first strike. But it's gonna run into the Unholy Fiend, which will kill it. Next turn there'll be four because of the Altar of Mogus. Um, at the end of the turn, we will be having the harv we'll be harvesting again. So we have the Diagraph Ghoul and the Claustrophobia, which is very bad in this matchup. Diagraph Ghoul is decent, Mana Skeleton is much less good, so we'll drop that. And then we'll go into the turn. Both players will draw. Reaper is pretty good. And the Moon Heron is not bad. Um, we definitely want to keep this to play Grim Grin. I think we'll probably drop Abby Griffin because its body is just not very good for this matchup. And in this one, um, these are all very good cards. But of them, I would say maybe the Mausoleum Guard's actually the weakest? No, Diagraph is the weakest. Okay. And then we'll go into the turn. We have a Plains, and a Celador. Celador is not amazing, but it is a way of getting card advantage. We will, this time around, play Grim Grim, well, oh, a creature died, so we'll mill one, and then Grim Grim, yeah, Grim Grim. It's pretty good, you can destroy things on attack. Okay. And on this side, we will wait. We need three blockers. You're a good blocker, you're a good blocker. Uh, they're playing four, so maybe another blocker. Maybe the Occultist. We will attack with the Chapel Geist, or we're gonna cast one more blocker here. Um, probably the Cathar as a sacrificial blocker. So, yeah. one, two, three, and that'll be the fourth. Okay, so we'll attack with these two for five. One, two, three, four, five. The elixir gets each player five life to take us to one. 28. Looks like we'll need another die. 28. And then this player will cast the Cathar. Turn on to pump up the spirit if we need to. And then we have four blockers and we'll play four cards. We have the 3-2, two, a 2-2, two, two, a 2-3, two, and a 2-2. Two, two. So all these guys attack. Um, 
Nobody is particularly good against, we're going to have to lose one against the 3-2. So we'll put this in front of the 3-2. This can block 2-2. Two, two. This can block the other 2-2. Two, two. This will block the 3-3. Three, three. So the only creature that's dying is the Elder Cathar. Which dies and gives a counter to the spirit. But all four of these die as well. So that's five creatures dying, which gets the Cell Hop Occultist in mill five. One, two, three, four, five. And then, oh, this turn ended, so we're actually down one life from the Unholy Fiend. Um, and that will end the turn. We'll go ahead and harvest. Thraven Sentry is pretty good. Planes is not bad. I think Dissipate can go because we want to be more proactive, not reactive. Thraven Sentry is probably... Right now, we're many turns away from playing Reaper, so let's just go ahead and get rid of Reaper, especially since the must destroy clause is a little bit destructive, is a little bit damaging. Okay, we're going to turn. Grim Grim does not untap. Okay, let's draw. We have Moment of Heroism and another Planes. We'll play the Planes. Um, okay, so we're going to have four attackers come in, we'll play another Moon Heron on this side, and also this all door, we'll just play both. On this side, we have five mana, we can play the Mausoleum Guard. Although getting this one big might not be so bad, but we don't have any sacrificial creatures right now, so probably the Mausoleum Guard. Yeah, okay. So we'll have two more creatures, which means out of the field of five, we want to um, keep four up as, no, uh, three up as blockers. Right, four, five. No. Two up as blockers. So this is a good blocker. This is a good blocker. I think we attack with everybody else. For uh, seven damage. One, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And then we'll play the Moon Heron here. We'll, ju we'll just play everything. The Cellar Door and the Moon Heron. And this one will play Mausoleum Guard. It will pass the turn. We'll see what four come up. We have another Plundered Statue, which means it'll go to five. Another Plundered Statue, which means it'll go to six. And that's four. Uh, this creature gets plus two plus O until end of turn, it dies at the end of the turn. So we're just gonna let it through because we have so much life. Um, it attacks and hits for five and then dies. But there's gonna be a lot of creatures coming in next turn. So that's gonna be a little bit troublesome. Um, at the end of the turn, oh, it dies. So the occultist makes you discard another one. At the end of the turn, we're gonna Loot again. Oh wait. Uh, this one's not gonna loot because, well, yeah. I mean, trading it for the planes might be better. We have the forest. We definitely want to keep that to activate Gavany Township. We'll drop the planes. Okay. Going to turns. Oh, we lost a life from this last turn as well.
No, you don't untap. I don't think we've needed Grim Grim so far. Um, Force, we want to activate Gavity Township. We'll probably drop the combat trick. Okay, draw. Okay, land, forest. Um, it's gonna be six creatures coming in this next turn, which is not great. Let's go ahead and use the cellar door. Bottomless cards get saluted or milled. That's not very good. Um, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven defenders right now. And this one will cast at least one more. Well, maybe. I think pumping up all these guys to be big defenders might be better because they can protect against almost everything then which means attacking with the moon herons and the Selhoff occultists I think is a best call yeah so that's eight one two three four five six seven, eight, and the discarding of the Massacre Totem knocks down another seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay? And then we will go into the next turn, with the next six showing up. One, two, three, four, five, six, okay. So, all the Minotaurs are out, and these batch are attacking. One, two, three, and four. Um, the Mogus is chosen is not attacking. So, I think the team can probably take out all four, especially if the Gavity Township is pumping. One, two, three, four. So, this becomes that you become a 3-4 you become a 3-3 three, three. okay the 3-4 will block this one the 4-1 will block this one the 3-3 three, three will block this one the 3-4 the uh, 3-3 three, three will block this one, so all four of these die. And then we just have to wait for... Oh, we lost a life because of the uh, Unholy Fiend. And then we just have to wait for the Mogus Chosen to untap and attack, because there's no way for us to interact with it. Well, we can blow it up with the Slayer of the Wicked on the next turn. So, going back to the next turn, we don't... We basically have this in the bag, so we don't need to... Um, use the the harvester draw okay the win will come from we'll go ahead and just play cards because we can the win will come from playing slayer of the wicked which kills this minotaur and ends the game. So, congrats, Innistrad Sealed Decks, you have beaten the Minotaur Horde. I need to make one correction on the uh, Minotaur game. The uh, Slayer of the Wicked can't target Minotaurs because it's vampires, werewolves, or zombies. But it wouldn't have mattered. We, would, we could have untapped with Grim Grim and attacked with Grim Grim to just blow up the Minotaur. So, that's how we actually won, not through the Slayer of the Wicked. Apologies for the misreading of the card.